Привіт, привіт, my dear friends, my name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video I would like to tell you about the new textbooks and resources that you can use uh, for learning Ukrainian and the foreign one. And I wanted also to share with you some stories about the flagorism that I faced recently. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, leave your comments below what your favorite Ukrainian language resources. Uh, so guys, uh, several days ago I wanted to find one uh, video on YouTube and I found a new YouTube channel for learning Ukrainian and I saw my uh, photo on the cover and I was surprised about that. I posted this um, uh, this thing on my Instagram and uh, thank you so much my dear followers who supported me and you also reported to Google about this situation. I hope this channel will be banned soon. And also I would like to share with you another story. So also on Instagram I was um, uh, watching the feed there and I saw one post that just in case there is a new textbook about the Ukrainian cases and I thought hmm, it's very interesting because as you know I wrote a textbook about the cases and it's called Master Ukrainian Cases and this is a very um, a very specific topic you know in Ukrainian language and uh, um, nobody has ever written uh, the whole textbook about this topic and I did it two and a half uh, years ago and I saw some pictures from this workbook and uh, some information seems to be very similar to mine and I asked the author of this book to sell me this book but she saw my message and didn't reply to me but anyway I found a way to buy this uh, workbook and um, I wanted to tell you that the format of that book is very similar to mine actually it is the same and when I talk about the format I say uh, it's clear the description of the book uh, it's okay but I talk about the at the beginning of the book I have uh, the grammar terms explanation and she does too and some of the terms explanations are the same and you can compare right now this information and also I want to tell you that uh, I was a little bit surprised also about the ah, okay about the format I wanted to tell you that uh, the explanation of the terms is pretty similar than when each case is explained uh, we can see the tables uh, the rules the note section that I also have also the format of the exercises uh, and then the vocabulary list under each section is also the same thing as I have and also I recommend you in my textbook to use the website slovnik.com and I see this recommendation either uh, the thing about the um, just let me tell you uh, okay yeah the, the, the format with the uh, usage of the cases so it's pretty similar and also uh, when we see I just analyzed a little bit the first chapter of this book and I saw that uh, when we see uh, some information about the normative case for example and we see the uh, rules and the examples and examples are pretty similar for example the words like when we talk about the masculine gender uh, scene 
стил, дядько, музей, трамвай, дідусь. The same words. Or when we talk about the feminine gender, you can see мама, земля, радість, and the same role, especially when a word denotes character of feelings. Neuter gender, uh, the same words like вікно, море, сонце, прізвище, життя, волосся. Um, couldn't you find another examples? And the vowel ya ja if preceded by double consonant. Um, then you can see, for example, the same thing about the table number two and uh, plural nouns. And we can see, for example, neuter or uh, uh, we change into ya ja, uh, after ruchi shi, ya remain the same. We can see the same explanations. Uh, yes, guys. Um, when we talk about the grammar books, of course, uh, we can create something uh, new and something different about the rules and the endings. Yes, they are the same. But why? Uh, did you decide to write the similar, actually the same examples and the format of the textbook is the same. And I know that you have my textbook. I don't remember that you bought it from me. Maybe my ex-student or somebody of your students bought my textbook in the ebook version and um, gave it to you. But it looks like just rewriting of my textbook and you added some extra things to it. And uh, then let's continue to analyze the first chapter about the normative case exercises. It's very interesting. So you can see in my textbook exercise number one determine the gender of the noun. In another book exercise number one indicate the gender of the nouns below. Okay, it's pretty similar, but let's continue. Exercise number two. Put the questions хтоце or щоце and translate. Exercise number two. Put the questions хтоце or щоце to the nouns. Okay, in my textbook. Exercise number three. Write the plural form of the words below. In her textbook. Write the plural form of the words below. <gasps> Exercise number four. Choose the correct plural form. Exercise number four in her book. Choose the correct plural form. Exercise number five in my textbook is the first chapter about the nominative case. Find the one singular word in each line. Exercise number five in her book. Find the one plural word in each line. Okay, I had singular and she has plural. Seriously? Okay. Uh, and also vocabulary list. It's a very useful thing. I uh, did it and she did it too. Okay. Um, I didn't read the whole uh, her workbook uh, because I didn't have any mood to do that. I just analyzed the first chapter and it was enough for me. And uh, yes, guys, you can see. Uh, and I want to tell you that my textbook, it took me nine months to write it. And then it took me approximately two months, uh, maybe even more, to print it out. Also, my a book has a passport it's called ISBN code and you can see each uh, book or textbook has this ISBN code and also my um, book has a copyright and it, this is not just the sentences in this textbook I bought actually I paid for the copyright for this book I hired a, a special lawyer who um, 
who according to the law of Ukraine uh, prepared the special papers about the copyright and I signed them and I paid money for them. So this textbook is protected by the law of Ukraine. But unfortunately our laws are very uh, are not very strong and I think I won't be able to do anything with that but anyway uh, let it be that what happens that happened and actually uh, you know of course um, we can create a new bicycle you know we have this kind of expression in Ukrainian language or we can't create a new uh, wheel but anyway uh, you can take the idea and make it in your own way to create your uh, own style, own explanations, exercises, your own notes because uh, I wrote a lot of uh, here uh, explanations, notes according to my experience and how I explained this topic to my students. They asked me a lot of questions and according to them I wrote a lot of information if my, if my, in my textbook Master Ukrainian Cases. So you can see I had this uh, experience and um, uh, I want to tell uh, one thing um, to the Instagram teacher, uh, Olena, I know where you live and I will send you a textbook still like an artist. I'm sure it will be very useful for you. So, um, also I would like uh, to tell you that uh, recently I purchased some very uh, interesting Ukrainian textbooks that I want to actually recommend you. And uh, one of the textbook is called Yak Inozemci Kozaka Ratovali, Easy Ukrainian Book for Intermediate and Advanced Ukrainian Learners by Natalia Pendur. I want to tell you that this is a very great book and I use it with my intermediate student. And he uh, told me about this book. He said, Ina, I bought it and I bought it too in ebook version. And uh, also it has audio book with the voiceover of all text and I want to tell you that this book is very great. It has uh, 312 pages and three parts uh, with the different stories and this is just like uh, I'm reading a novel about the foreigners who came to Ukraine and they uh, have some very interesting adventures and the book is great, vocabulary at least are great, very useful, and the exercises to each chapter to each chapter is very great. And also, I really like the pictures, and I know that the author of this book, uh, they painted them by them by themselves, by herself. I'm sorry. So, um, Natalia, I want to tell you, good job, great book. And if you're in intermediate level and you read it by yourself, it can be difficult. But if you read it together with the teacher, um, he or she can explain you different uh, expressions from this textbook, slang, colloquial phrases. Uh, very good book. Highly recommend you. Uh, good job. Another textbook that also I um, purchased uh, on Amazon and also in ebook version. Uh, I heard about it many times, but I just uh, recently purchased it. It's called 100 Easy Ukrainian Text with Audio and Vocabulary for Beginners. Uh, also, it has audiobook by Yulia Pozniak. So I want to tell you that uh, this book is very nice. Uh, it is very well organized. Uh, it has um, stories on the different uh, topics that are very good for beginners. It has vocabulary lists, uh, small texts. Uh, tell the truth, I haven't used it yet because I don't have a beginner student right now, but I think maybe I will have in the future um, and I will ask my student to purchase this 
um, textbook too. And I know that Yulia, she has three uh, textbooks with the text, I guess, yes, uh, and you can find her profile on Amazon. So I want to say this is a very good textbook and I hope uh, very soon I will have an opportunity to use it. And the next book that I want to recommend you is actually free and that's great. You can download it on your Kindle. Amazon and its name is Ukrainian in Pictures Learn Ukrainian Make Your Baba Proud by Yulia Osika. I know that this uh, girl she lives in uh, United States and she has a Ukrainian uh, roots and she um, is an artist and she uh, created this uh, book with the vocabulary with the beautiful pictures you can download it for free, you can learn uh, the words from it and it's very nice, very beautiful and I like that it has blue and yellow colors like the flag of Ukraine. I really, really like it. Very beautiful one. And I also want to recommend you another author. Um, his name is uh, Yuri Shevchuk. Uh, he is Ukrainian uh, PhD. He uh, lives and works in the university in the United States and he teaches the Ukrainian language culture and he wrote a very great book Beginners Ukrainian with interactive uh, online workbook second edition uh, and I have this uh, uh, textbook too and you can get it on Amazon and I want to tell you that it is great it is like a complete book. I, will, I, I can say that this is one of the uh, best uh, textbook for beginners that you can take and to learn Ukrainian language from scratch and to reach a very good um, solid beginner level in Ukrainian language. Also guys, I have another book from Yuri Shevchuk. Actually, it's a huge dictionary can you see wow and here you can see the picture of Yuri Shevchuk this is Ukrainian English collocation dictionary core lexicon of contemporary Ukrainian described 200 southern word combinations 80 southern example of word usage can you imagine that wow Yuri Shevchuk did a significant work and it took him a lot of time to make it up and you can purchase this dictionary on um, Amazon and I couldn't uh, purchase it and get it here in Ukraine because uh, we have troubles with Amazon and it's difficult to um, to order uh, shipping here to Ukraine and therefore I can't um, sell my textbook and flashcards on Amazon and you can buy them only on my website speaker.com but one of my American students uh, bought it and sent it to me from the United States to Ukraine thank you thank you so much I really appreciate it and now I have it and I'm very happy about that because I can use it in my work and here you can see a lot of <laughs> many thousands of Ukrainian words their explanations uh, their grammar forms also how you can use them with other expressions so this is amazing textbook and nobody has ever done it before great job Thank you, Yuri. I really uh, appreciate for your hard work. That's a very big and, and very important um, thing that you did for Ukrainian language and its development abroad. Thank you so much. Guys, and very often you ask me, Ina, I want to watch Ukrainian movies in Ukrainian voiceover or with the subtitles or I want to watch Ukrainian tube channels, I want to listen to Ukrainian radio music, where can I do it? Guys, I have already collected for you all these resources, all these 
free links. Please go on my website speaker.com, check out the section textbooks and there you can download for free the PDF file 150 plus free Ukrainian resources. And there you can find the websites uh, with the online um, dictionaries, with the free online libraries where you can um, watch, listen, read and practice Ukrainian language for free. Please check it out because you ask me many times and I also spend a lot of time for searching all this information for you because I have been teaching Ukrainian language for six years now and um, many times, millions times my students, you know, uh, where can I watch this TV show, where can I uh, read this one, la la la, give me Ukrainian, the links to the Ukrainian newspapers, magazines and I collected everything in this PDF file, just please download it, it will be very useful for you, I'm sure. So guys, um, please share with you again in the comments below what are your favorite resources for learning Ukrainian language uh, and if you want to learn more then you can check out my Instagram account speak Ukrainian language if you like my content you can support me on patreon.com or you can just donate any sum of money for the development of this YouTube channel. All the links you can find in the description of this video. And also guys, I want to tell you uh, that uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And pobacimo skoro. See you soon. Papa, your teacher Ina.